Over here in France, gentian is sometimes positioned as an antidepressant herb. And it's true that some studies show that gentian acts as a monoamine oxidase inhibitor, which may promote higher serotonin levels in the brain environment. I know this is oversimplistic, as we know depression is not simply a matter of low serotonin levels, agreed. But that action, coupled with the uh, bringing us back to our guts, could be interesting in the context of mild to moderate depression with low appetite and digestive stagnation. Another interesting point is the fact that gentian in the digestive deficient person will help to better extract certain amino acids like tryptophan that are essential to make serotonin and melatonin. And this requires strong gastric and pancreatic activity, therefore gentian. Overall, I would say that today we're just starting to understand this amazing dance between the central nervous system and the enteric nervous system. Right? The two are in constant communication. When the enteric system is under functioning or impaired or suffering, the central nervous system will inevitably be affected. So gentian could help here.